And today we're gonna to be checking out this hanging light from Hummingbird Lighting. So let's open it up, see what's inside. Then we're gonna go actually hang it and see what it's gonna look like and in fully installed. So let's get to it. And here we go. You're gonna get an instruction manual and some clean gloves to help keep your hands from leaving marks on this hanging fixture. Plus you get all the hardware, you get the screws and the wire nuts and the anchors, all that good stuff. Center hoop right here. You have the, the bracket, the mounting bracket. You have the center piece. Check that out, that's pretty cool. Someone's got that 50s spaceship vibe. You have a chain and we have some other pieces, mystery pieces, they're all wrapped up. So let's get this big old box out of the way. Now we're gonna take a closer look at this fixture. And I am loving it already, I can tell you. This is just my vibe right here. We're gonna get all these pieces and parts unwrapped. Now I'm assuming that while you're assembling this, you should be wearing the gloves provided for the simple fact that the oil from your hands can cause these brass pieces to tarnish down the road. So be smarter than me and use the gloves if you want your light fixture to look amazing for a very long time. Okay, we have a whole bundle of these little brass rods right here. And we have another bundle of all these brass rods right here. And just so you know, you have two different lengths. You have a long set and a shorter set. Here it is, just a simple satin black base with a hook for the chain. So here's the main part of the actual fixture itself. You can see you're gonna put three, six bulbs all together in here, and you're gonna assemble this little starburst inside, and these just simply screw into here, like so. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just go ahead and alternate these. I'm gonna put in short, long, short, long. Kind of give it a little bit of a style. Okay, so that's four short ones first. Now I'm gonna put some long ones in. And you can customize these however you want to. Feel free to be creative, okay? Now I'm gonna put some short ones in again. I'm just doing a layer of long and a layer of short until I run out of these little spikes. The instructions, I, I didn't see any like clear way as to how you exactly were supposed to do these, but that just means I can do it any way I want and make it look amazing. <laughs> we're almost there. It's a little bit tedious screwing all these in, but just remember you only have to do this once. After you hang this up, you get to enjoy this thing the rest of your life if you want to. So it's gonna be well worth the effort. And check this out. Pretty cool. Definitely has that 50s vibe of like something that you would see in a, a retro cafe or like in a Vegas casino back in the 50s or 60s when uh, space was all the rage. Very cool. As you can see, this is gonna hang in the center here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna guide our wire up through the top piece up here where the ring is, just like so. And that's gonna hang just like this. That's what it's gonna look like hanging from your ceiling. And of course, this right here opens up. Let me get it right. There you go. That's a little bit more realistic of what you're gonna see. How cool is that? So what we need to do now is, let's go hang it up somewhere and see how nice this is gonna be. Okay, so here we are, where we're gonna be installing the light right here. I have disconnected the power, I have tripped a breaker. If you're not comfortable with doing wiring like this, by all means call a handyman or an electrician to do this install for you. But if you follow the simple directions, you should be able to do it yourself. Just make sure the power is off. Now you can see out of the ceiling, you have black wire, white wire, and a bare copper wire. And this is gonna be your ground, the bare copper. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the mounting plate out of this mount right here. It's only three screws. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your mounting plate and we're gonna put it up to the ceiling and attach it to your electrical box via the provided screws, just like that. Now our mounting box is in. Now what we need is our fixture. So you can see that this wire on this fixture is quite long. This is going all the way to the ground. I have a short ceiling here that I'm working with today, but you can use this on taller ceilings and taller entryways. But in this kit, they're gonna give you four different chains. Now what these four chains, they're all the same length, but what they allow you to do is to choose 
if you need this one foot from the ceiling or four feet from the ceiling, roughly. That's not an exact measurement, but it allows you to add on to all these chains to make it longer and longer. I'm gonna go with the shortest one because I have a short ceiling. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna weave the chain through the power cord for the fixture. Go up through the links. This is just a way of disguising the cord. We're just gonna let that fall all the way down to the fixture. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do for wiring is I'm going to put a screw in this mounting plate and I'm going to attach the ground, grounding the plate. And now what we're gonna do is once you choose your length for your light fixture, you can cut the wire shorter to fit your need. I'm gonna leave it all the way long because I'm gonna move this. I'm not gonna leave it here. It's just easier for me to demonstrate the light here. Okay, so now that we have the mounting bracket on and we have our ground hooked up, you're gonna take your base and you're gonna feed your wires through the hole in the center, just like so. And all you have to do is you're gonna have to put the two white wires together, put on the wire nut, and then we're gonna take the two black wires like so, and we're gonna put them together. and. That's it to the wiring. Now I'm gonna to try to demonstrate here in front of you. We're gonna take the chain, and these chains have little connectors on the ends. I'm just gonna loosen the connector up, and I'm gonna hook the chain onto the hook. Then I'm gonna screw the connector back together. And you're gonna do the same on both ends. And so now you can see that we connect the chain down here, we connect the chain up here. So now we just need to put the excess wire back up inside, and then attach the base to the mount. We're just gonna shove these up in there, We're feeding the extra wire up there. Like I said, if you want to, you can cut yours. And then once you get all the excess wire up there, you have a ground wire coming out of this base. You're gonna connect this to the same place that you had connected the previous ground. Now that we've got everything grounded, we're gonna bring this base all the way up and we're gonna line the holes of the base to the mounting bracket. We're gonna put our three screws back in. Just tighten them all up and this is the final step. Now all we have to do is get some light bulbs and light her up. And just like that, here is this glorious, glorious light. Check this thing out. You've got the double rings. You have the chain coming all the way down from the ceiling. This is all nice satin black with satin black rings. And then you have this beautiful bright gold glitter starburst in the center. Like I said, it reminds me of 50s, 60s Vegas, like what you'd see on top of like a Starlight Hotel or something. You have the long spikes and the short spikes to represent like the sun, basically, or a star. It takes little E12 bulbs, max 60 watt per bulb, and you can get creative with the bulbs, just like we got creative alternating the spikes. So a very cool light fixture is going to add a ton of character to any entryway, any foyer, you can even have it in your living room or dining room if you like. It's just a super cool retro style light. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.